All right, this is a quick follow-up video on the Peak Design Logitech G collaboration on the Peak Design Everyday Zip 20 liter bag. I'm just gonna go ahead and say, I don't think this was a completely thought out collaboration. Somewhere between the product design and the marketing and the messaging behind this, I think something got missed. I think it kind of has to do with the keyboard, which I've talked about a little bit in a previous video and in some forum posts, had some discussions about. Um, but there's some other clues in here now that I've been hands on with it. For one thing, if you look at the other video that I did where I unboxed it, I was taken aback a little bit. I didn't actually think this was the Logitech collaboration that they had sent me because the, the label on the bag that was around the poly bag just said Peak Design Everyday 20 liter. Nothing to indicate that it was a Logitech collaboration. Also, there was a little hang tag attached to one of the uh, handles here um, that did not make any mention of this Peak Design collaboration. Now, what this is supposed to be is supposed to be for gamers, uh, the collaboration with Logitech here. Um, they advertise that you can have your gaming gear and your big headphones and your mouse and your keyboard and all of that. Uh, we'll see, I've got the big headphones in there. I've got a mouse in here. The thing about the keyboard, though, it's a little bit, uh, a little bit sus, as they say, right? Um, uh, from, a, from a game perspective, there. Um, I was really looking at this for for everyday carry for the office, sort of the knowledge worker geek thing, where I've got a few gadgets, a few little extra gadgets for my photography hobby in here. So we're going to open this up and kind of shall unpack it, kind of show the challenges there with the uh, the keyboard, uh, and at the end, I'll kind of give a thought on what may have actually happened here. Uh, so we'll see. So first off, um, one of the questions, the main reason for this follow-up video also is just to see how much inside space is in here uh, when it is filled with gadgets and things like that. So without further ado, let's do the unpacking and talk about the features. First off is these water bottle pockets. Uh, and look, I, I have not been hands-on with the Peak Design Everyday 20 liter zip to begin with. So some of the things I call out may be unique uh, or just in the original version of the zip there. Um, but one of the things is these water bottle pockets, I'll take this one out. They sort of almost, they almost actively tried to eject the water bottle, right? So throughout the day, these things just flip out. They're just not very well held in. Uh, and then the pockets here on the other side that we'll show in a minute, um, it's just kind of hard to get to. Uh, so we'll take that out and I'm going to go ahead and open it from this side here. One neat thing is they actually did include the Peak Design quick release there. I've got my AirPod case there because basically that is, of all the things I might need to get to, that's it for me. I get everybody has a different job. Everybody has a different EDC. Your needs may vary. It might be different than mine, but hey. All right, so jumping to how much space is in this when it's kind of loaded out. There's a good bit here. Uh, this pocket here is actually for the keyboard, and we'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, the other pocket is for, not the other pocket, sorry, the other loop field here along this surface is for these neat little things. This Pete gives you, I don't know, about a half dozen of these. There's like three different sizes of these. Uh, I don't know, mine have kind of wandered off, so I'll show you what I did in a minute, uh, I think I'll go ahead and swap out how I use this. I'm not really using these. I actually have tried these out in the Alpha 1.9 or Pathfinder backpack. It has sort of this front area with a that's kind of used for a jacket pass through or something else. Uh, but actually, I swiped from that Pathfinder the Alpha 1.9 organizer here, and so I just like to just kind of put that right in there if I'm going to carry the bag, kind of get it up top near the seam. And then I can just kind of open it sideways. The thing we'll talk about here a bit more in a moment, but I wanna make sure that we see from this angle here, this is two A5 notebooks in where the keyboard is supposed to go. Here, I have the accessories from the laptop area. So we'll get into that in a moment. They block, if this keyboard were any longer, it blocks the ability for that keyboard to go. So, you know, a collaboration between Peak Design and Logitech. What does Logitech make? Logitech makes accessories. Logitech makes keyboards. Logitech should be able to tell us in the marketing materials 
what size, what model keyboards it fits. Instead, everything that I saw at least, uh, where it was marketed through B&H, uh, was really just, it fits keyboards. As you can see, it's not gonna fit a big keyboard. I have a Logitech keyboard here. So this is this little membrane keyboard that I carry around with my iPad, uh, my iPad mini. So uh, since it doesn't have the, the magic keyboard folio like the full size iPad has, but if this were, you know, if I take these out, sure. All right, so we've got the cool magnetic thing there. Uh, it goes in there. I guess if it were longer, maybe it could go up there, but honestly that space only goes up to the P, to the O. So where's the P at on the keyboard here? So you get about, you know, inch and a half space there, or a keyboard would be sitting up at this angle if it were any longer. And look, I get there are smaller, there's small gaming keyboards, right? That's a thing. I, I, I don't think that all gamers use the same keyboard. Uh, not every person out there is gaming has necessarily invested in a keyboard. I know, you know, my kids, they, they play games. They have a big laptop that they use. They don't use external keyboard. If they did bring an external keyboard, it would probably be a regular full size or even something with a number pad on it, which is probably going to go past the end there. So again, Logitech makes keyboards. Logitech makes accessories. In the marketing of this, why was there not any kind of mention of, hey, here's a Logitech keyboard models that this uh, supports here. Uh, but anyway, you know, got a few other things in here. I won't unpack all this. Uh, the other feature that's they, they market around this here uh, under the Logitech G is the ability to store your headphones. So these are actually my JBL noise canceling headphones. And that is nice and convenient in a sort of molded area. Uh, there's a little bit of structure here. It's not hard like some of the Thule ones where it's really a hard shell, uh, but it's a good spot and it makes it very accessible. So we'll just throw this together back together here real quick so we can look at the laptop area. So we put this upright. And again, this is the laptop accessory area, which I assume is probably like this on the regular Peak Design, but that's where my mouse ended up just because I wasn't using those side bits. But even if the mouse wasn't in there, even if my little anchor, convenient power adapter wasn't there, I mean, these cables are still taking up that space. So, and then I've got two keyboards in there. Um, it's adjustable to, hit, to have it be longer for a 15 inch keyboard. I've got two uh, MacBook Airs of different uh, vintages in there. Uh, so at the end of the day, you know, I really wonder if, this bag was originally built for a conference or a gaming tournament or something like that. Because again, they didn't print labels for it. They were different. They didn't print a hang tag for it. That was different. They stitched on this G and then they provided a number of different accessories. Uh, not this organized, but a number of different accessories. Oh, here's some more that mount. Uh, here, uh, they, again, they give you about a half dozen of these for your mouse, your cables, things like that. You can configure it how you want it. Uh, and then this headphone area here. But again, why was it not more integrated with Logitech's product offering, right? Why did we not get a list of keyboard model numbers that this would fit? Hang tags weren't printed, labels weren't printed. It just feels like Maybe this was a project that started and did not get fully funded. Maybe it was a project of somebody in marketing and they couldn't get so much support from product design. You never know kind of what goes on uh, in the halls or the Zooms of you know, the corporate world on these things. But something just feels like it's uh, not a fully baked collaboration. That said, it's still a useful bag. I didn't really expect to carry around a full-size keyboard. Uh, but if somebody did, or if somebody has a keyboard that's, you know, anything other than roughly A5 size, you know, the size of that Logitech uh, keyboard there, there's an A5 Rhodia, number 16 dot pad, similarly A5 like turn, about the same size there. 
So nice bag. I've carried it some. Straps feel a little bit uh, flimsy is not quite the right word, but they're just not quite as structured as some other bags that I'm used to. But I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Uh, so at the end of the day, you know, a good bag if you have a bunch of gadgets that you want to carry around and make easily accessible. And then maybe, I don't know, you could put your, your puffer jacket in this space here. So if we said this was roughly the size of maybe one overnight packing cube. I like the REI travel tote accessory there. So if we said this was, eh, you know, maybe two of them, depending on the size of your uh, toiletries, you could do an overnight or have something for a rain jacket, umbrella in here, um, you know, quick business trip or something like that. Uh, or maybe you're a gamer and maybe what you've seen here suits your needs as long as it's not a big keyboard there. So as they say, um, subscribe. Give it a like, leave a comment, leave your questions below. Appreciate everybody who commented on the previous video that led to the making of this follow-up. And, um, you yeah, know, I look forward to sharing my thoughts on the next bag that kind of crosses my desk here. Thank you very much.